Okay, here we have another drawing. We have a housing there. We have a bush. We have a shaft where various components will be fitted onto. We have a flange or a wheel that will fit onto the shaft. So all the components that will fit onto the shaft is the wheel or the flange, the washer and the circlip. That's engineering knowledge to me. And then the shaft needs to rotate smoothly and it needs a bush or a bearing and the bush will be fitting onto the shaft. And then it needs a housing, the whole arrangement and this is the housing where it will fit into. However, for students they do not know this. We also have a key to be able to connect this wheel to the shaft. Give me a chance to explain this quickly. We have one of each component. We can see here that we're having a hole of 40 millimeter in length with a, a, a height there which is 45 minus 35 is 5 millimeters and going all the way that way of 35. And the diameter of that hole is 32 millimeters and 40 millimeters. Going across, we're having the shaft here as we're looking at the outside, if I say shaft, which is 32 millimeters from there to there. And then we have 40 from this point downwards. And then the hole inside, that, that's for another shaft. So we can see that this will fit into there directly. I'm just going to do this. So this will fit in there directly. Okay. This is when you're going to do a full sectional side view. Let me just make space here. We're not going to need this. That is only to be able to see the dimensions properly to draw up this. And I would rather draw up the side to be able to get a full section. Next thing. We are, now we have a hole there of the diameter is 24. So let's go look for a 24. I can see there's a 24, there's a 40 and a 20. Now it's a little bit confusing looking at all the hidden detail, yeah? It's a little bit confusing by looking at all that hidden detail. And now we need to step this. We need to go from 20 to 24 to 40. The small one should be 20. The larger one there should be 24. And that should be 40. And this one is given by 32. So we've got four diameters on there. And as well the small diameter where the circle fits into. When you see a groove in a shaft, in most cases, you, that's the hole for the circle if it's provided. And that there is the hole for the key. We're having a key there, 5 high and 7 in radius. There you have 7 in radius. And obviously that should be 5 high. So that little stub there will fit exactly inside that spot there. That's where the key will fit. The next thing, your circlip. Look at your circlip here. The diameter is 24, but we're looking at the hole because we need to match, we just need to look at holes to be able to match the shaft to them. The hole there of the circlip is, uh, the diameter is 16. And then obviously, for me, I know that the circlip will fit exactly there inside. Although it does not show the diameter of 16 on the inside. But it should be 16. It's not given there. It should be. So I'm going to take the circle up. And I'm going to put it in that groove. And it matches up that. Remember this whole thing is not according to scale. I'm giving you an idea. Okay, this washer. Where will this washer be? This washer is more or less a spacer. The inside hole is 20 and you need to match it up with 20. So we say that this here is 20 and that one is 24. So it should sit somewhere on there. But we, it needs to create space. Okay. We're going to need to take note of these distances. We're having a distance of 25. And then 4, the total distance that way is 21. Minus the 2 millimeters of that bush there, 
will give you 19 from that point to there. So it's obviously going further. We're having a hole there of 20 millimeters in diameter. We can see the key will fit into that groove. So what's going to happen is we need to see that the 20 millimeter diameter has this length from there to there. That's the 20 mm. That's 22, including the key going straight across. You can see that's the 20 millimeter diameter. The total length there, remember, we only have, let me just make sure here, we only have a 4 and the 2, it's 6. We only have 19 there to play with. So the distance from there to there is uh, 23 minus 6 will give you 17. So that's where it will sit. So taking this whole wheel upwards. Let's go up. And we fit the wheel on here. I know that. Let me just remove this quickly because I know this will sit there right on the inside. The circle. Okay. So this whole wheel here. I'm just going to remove this first. I know that this whole wheel will be sitting on there. But remember, it's not according to scale. Okay? So you'll find out that it will sit there and then the shaft, because it's 17, and that's 2 millimeters, that will be the spacer to help it to sit snugly there. So you'll find out that your, your circle will sit there. While your shaft comes further out, I'm going to put a little bit of a rectangle here to show you just your shaft comes a little bit out there because that's in the groove for the circle, more or less. Okay, that's where your shaft will come out. And then uh, you will have your washer. Let's undo there. Your little washer will fit in here right in front inside that groove let me just try to get it properly well for there exactly next to it and because of that flat face there that it had this groove from there from here upwards to there but that this will sit nicely in the groove and that will be the circle and it will sit snug against the shaft there this whole arrangement now and this key will fit nicely in there to be able to handle that to keep it snug uh, for rotation to apply torque you'll apply it against that key and I'm taking this whole arrangement we already have the bush in there we're taking this whole arrangement and this arrangement will fit in there The internal diameter, outside diameter there is 32. The hole we got is 24. So this distance from there to there is 24, guys. And the distance, the length distance is 40. And you can see that the length distance from there to there is 40. So it will fit in nicely right there in the center. Just, just to, to, to check here. Okay, that's what we have. And this will go directly in here. Sorry, guys, for all this. It takes away all these lines. Um, it's a little bit difficult, but I'm just carrying over the idea of how this thing will fit. So this will sit exactly there onto that face there. Remember, I know some stuff is in the way, but you can see exactly what's happening. Okay, there we have it. It won't look exactly like that. You'll be able to see the shaft more sitting solidly. As soon as you're going to create a section, everything will look more beautiful because the shaft won't be sectioned and it will look very solid. So that's basically how it fits together. Okay, thank you very much.